All right, in this video, we're going to look at M.1.5 in the ATIT study manual for math. And this goal here is you have some real world problems that involve one or more steps in order to solve or get the solution to these questions. And you don't necessarily have to set up an equation here. Most of the time you can draw a picture or just straight up crunch some numbers to get the correct solution. We have two examples here that are kind of similar, but then again, they're a little bit different than what you have in your book. The numbers do play a little bit different here. So the first example, Janice wants to put four inch square pavers around a cement sitting area in her backyard. The cement slab is eight feet long and 10 feet wide. And let's just go ahead and make the assumption it's around a rectangular sitting area. I left that part out. But it's a rectangular cement sitting area in her backyard and it's eight feet long and 10 feet wide. How many pavers does Janice need to completely surround the sitting area? So I have a little rectangle drawn here. Sometimes a picture can help. And what we have is 10 feet wide. So this is 10 feet across here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And then we have eight feet across here. But bear in mind, actually, uh, you know, these little squares that you see here, I just did that for dimension purposes. This right here is just one big old concrete slab. And what we want to do is we want to put some square pavers around this thing. So something like this right here. Uh, and there's a bunch of them. My drawing's not the prettiest thing, but you want all these little squares to go completely around this rectangular slab. With that in mind, we have to be careful because the square pavers, those red things that I just had, you know, one, two, three. I'm going to draw three right there for a reason. Now, these things are in inches. Remember, 12 inches is equal to one foot. So since these things are four inches, that little square, that first square right there, notice if I go from here to here, that's one foot. From here to here, two feet, three feet, four feet, five feet, six feet, seven feet, eight feet, okay? So each little blank spot that you see right here represents a foot. Now notice I drew three of these square pavers in this first foot. The reason why I did that is because these things are four inches. So one of those squares that you see right there, just making it a little bit bigger, this is going to be four inches by four inches. So we need three of those. Think about that, four, eight, 12. So if this is four and this is four and this is four, that gives you a total of 12 inches Three of those square pavers gives you 12 inches, and 12 inches is one foot. So in this little region, we need three square pavers. That means we're going to need three in this one, 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 and three in this one. Because three square pavers gives you one foot, and we have eight feet across this uh, this length right here. Well, how can we quickly figure that out? Since there takes it takes three square pavers per foot, we can take eight times three and we need 24 pavers on this side. Well, that means we need 24 pavers on this side. And the same idea down here is still gonna take three, one, two, three, to get one of these feet out of these 10 feet because remember that's four inches, eight inches, 12 inches, and 12 inches gives you a foot. So we still need three here. And we have 10 of them across here, so 10 times three gives us 30. So we need 24 pavers, 30 pavers, 24 pavers, and we need 30 pavers right here as well. But let's be careful. Now, if we add all these up, um, again, you can just use your calculator to quickly do that. So, of course, I, 30, 60, that's what, 108? So 30 plus 30 plus 24 plus 24. Yeah, 108. So we need 108 pavers right now. However, we need to be careful. Let's think about this. If we want to completely enclose this thing, I'm going to put, you know, th uh, three here. And then what we actually need is another square paver here to close in that corner. The same thing's going to happen here. And here and here. So those are the four. We need four more on top of that um, to completely enclose this thing. So therefore, we're going to need 112 pavers in all to completely enclose that sitting area. 
So bear in mind some of these problems you may run across on the T's test. You might have different units of measurement. Notice we had feet for the dimensions of our concrete slab, and then we had four inch square pavers. So be careful with that. And also, if you have a problem, you run across a problem like this, don't forget your corner pieces to completely enclose uh, that garden or rectangular sitting area or whatever it may be. Now, we have another problem here as well, similar to one in your study manual. A dog needs a supplement due to vitamin deficiency. The dosage amount is two milliliters three times a day. The bottle contains 150 cc's of the supplement. So notice right here we have milliliters. Over here the bottle has uh, cc's, cubic centimeters, of the supplement. How many days will this bottle last? Well, taking this part right here, two milliliters three times per day. So two milliliters, if we're going to do this three times per day, I'm just going to multiply that by three. Therefore, the dog is going to need six milliliters per day. However, the bottle is in cubic centimeters. Um, well, notice here, one cubic centimeter is the exact same thing as one milliliter. Lucky for us, they're the same. One cc is the same thing as one ml. Well, with that in mind, if we need six milliliters every day for this dog, that means we need six cc's every day for this dog. So let's take the total bottle size of 150 cc's, 150 cc's, and we divide by six cc's that are needed each day. Um, 150 divided by six, use your calculator for that. 150 divided by six, that's gonna give you 25. So that's gonna be 25 days that this bottle of supplement is going to last given the dog takes it three times per day or you give it to the dog three times a day two milliliters each time you do that so you know there's two quick problems they, they look very similar to what you have in m.1.5 in the ATIT study manual the math section um, I do have uh, quite a few more hopefully you've watched you know the videos I've done up until this point you've seen my website I do math .weebly.com. if you haven't seen that go back and check some of my previous videos and you'll see that I have a T section set up there with uh, additional videos and um, these videos will get added as I create them and there you have it that's M.1.5 out of the ATIT study manual and that is it for this video I hope it helped